I already gave a commentary video on outside, but it's so the. Okay, so he's got, I didn't realize this, but he had an old one. So there's Outside Remix from two years ago, I guess. And now there's Outside. They just keep making the same video outside. Everybody's outside. I don't know. I don't. I feel like I'm outside. Maybe I'm inside. I don't, I don't really know. I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Okay, so they're starting this video in a hearse with candles and glasses. They're scared to come outside. So they're at a memorial. You guys know how, um, okay, wait. So you guys know how, um, what's her name? Sweetie made that song, like, Icy Girl, and then it was basically, like, in the song she says, I'm not going to put nobody's name on a t-shirt. I don't do that. I'm too icy for that. So here's what I would say to that, and I, one of the reasons I've never commented on that specifically is because it's actually not funny when you lose someone who you really love to like gun violence or gang violence. Like it's not a joke and you really do feel sad if someone is dead. If someone dies, like let's say your brother or sister gets shot in the face and then they're dead. <laughs> like you probably really care about your brother or sister, right? So like you would get a shirt or a card, a poster, a tattoo, a tear, something that like is mem it's like memorializing your me the memory of your relationship with that person because that relationship was real and sentimental. This is why I can't take people like like the artist like Sweetie seriously. Like that's so disrespectful for her to like literally get on a track and then say fuck fuck you if you have a I'm not putting anybody's name on a t-shirt. Well, I hope she gets a bullet too and nobody puts her ugly ass on a t-shirt too. Like who you know what I mean? Like who are the swappy fans anyway? Like. Just cause she has some, a fucking ice cube? Like, are you joking? This is a dollar at McDonald's. If you have no respect for life and the fact that someone else is like lost real life and you're making fun of that, like it's a joke, it's not funny. Like when people die, death isn't funny. Like you don't come back from death, you, you die and then you're dead. Like die dead, that's it, like that's the story. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm not trying to say that to be like shady. I'm just saying it to be honest, like, when people memorialize others and they put them on t-shirts, like, they're doing that and they're saying that because they care about the life that was lost. And I think something that I, I guess, maybe it's just me who's starting to notice this, but like, I saw BJ the other, it was like last year, he, he posted that like his cousin like died or something. And he was like so sad because he had to go to the funeral. And I was just very confused because like, I know a lot of people from our graduated class have died. So many people have died, so, so all those other people who died, he didn't care enough to like make a public post about it or talk about the sadness about it. Only when it's like his cousin, now all of a sudden the tears start to flow. Fuck people like that, you know, I hate that. Like, people are dying every day. So just because it's not your family member, then you can't shed a tear and everybody wonders why I'm an asshole. Like, fuck them, fuck all of them. Fuck them a million times, seriously. Like, if you see all the other people around you dying dead, impoverished, all this shit, and you don't care, and then all of a sudden when it happens to you, you want to scream bloody mercy and talk about fairness and equity and community and shit, fuck that. No. Like, I have a special place in my heart for people who are, like, especially, like, the anti-black racists, all of them. Just a nice, special place. It's like a heart of pure, like silver bullet or something where I just don't give a shit at all. Like, I hope they cry a million tears. Let the tears flow, cry me a fucking river. Because seriously, like, the violence has been out here for a long time. And who has been out here putting people's names on shirts? We have. And who's been laughing about it? Y'all have. Well, now it's your turn to cry, and it's my turn to eat the Cardi B McDonald's meal. So, ha ha ha.